Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome back to some more Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. So this is going to be the finale. Surprisingly, I did it in this short amount of time, but honestly, I only practiced the Grey Palace once, and I feel confident in my ability to complete the palace, and that's exactly what I did, just off of one practice run. So I'm very proud of myself. Um, the Great Palace, there's really no locked doors. Your major goal, if you're looking at this palace from a map, you would, your goal is to get to the bottom right hand corner of the map. Um, that Firebird there that we just fought is a new uh, enemy. I can't remember his, his exact name, but we have two more enemies to face. Um, make sure you jump right w when you pass that pillar because there's an invisible uh, wall down there with those bots. Also, bots in this dungeon takes two hits, even with a level eight sword instead of one, so do be mindful of that. Um, and for the next couple of rooms, we're just gonna head uh, eastward as we possibly can. Um, I think we run into another one of those firebirds in this room, which is why I'm being cautious, and we do. The birds themselves aren't hard to deal with. It's really the flames that they shoot out because as soon as they land, they begin to target Link. Um, and it can be very distracting um, with dealing with the birds and the flames. So you want to quickly kill the bird as quickly as you possibly can so it can't shoot off any more flames. Um, I do have all those extra lives and I do manage to get another extra life uh, in the dungeon. So I was able to complete the palace rel relatively comfortably with two lives to spare. Uh, admittedly, like right here, I'm just being reckless. Um, but honestly, if you have a map and you kind of like have, or have an idea of, of where to go, you will be fine. Um, the Great Palace itself is not hard, it's just the, these firebirds and the Fulcras, which is essentially a knighted bird that jumps around and they're heavy hitters. Uh, no iron knuckles to my knowledge in this palace because I don't explore all the rooms because I just uh, follow the guide and just go straight you know to the rooms I don't go into no extra rooms with the exception of getting a, a red potion and the link doll um, unfortunately I got pretty pretty caught up in this area uh, this particular room is a little bit hard because you have these uh, dragon heads coming at you and you got these blocks that you got to break through so it's kind of annoying uh, there's another room that's similar to this room uh, that requires you to deal with the blue folk uh, which will be coming up very shortly uh, but it is difficult and we're still heading east and this is the fulcrum this is the enemy that i was talking about they're not the red ones aren't as bad because they don't move as fast as the blue ones the best way to defeat a fulcrum honestly that i found is to use the upward thrust on it uh when it's in midair and kind of like what give yourself some room for it to jump along so it can not only jump but you can also block its projectiles uh, sometimes you just may not get lucky um, with uh, your hits on them because sometimes they'll throw a projectile as you're slashing doing the upper thrust on them uh, which has happened to me a few times uh, in that particular area but if you go over to the left on this elevator uh, there will be a chance that you can find a red potion uh, now sometimes like with the iron knuckle sometimes a, a folker will appear and I think in this case it does so I had to go back the up the elevator to off screen it and then uh, come back because uh, it was just a pain in the butt I wanted to really get that red potion um, in this dungeon you want to try to stay above half of your magic because you're gonna need at least about 60% of your magic in order to take on the boss before the final boss, if that makes any sense. So it's good to know where these red potions are uh, scattered about in this area because it can be a godsend. And I ended up looking, referring to the guy right there because I was making sure I was on the right track. Uh, once again, from this elevator, we're gonna head to the uh, 
east i don't know exactly what's on the western path uh it doesn't really matter because like i said our goal is to get to the bottom right of the map uh so in most cases in this palace uh you definitely will be going to the right um, there are a few times where we will be going to, you know, the left, but like I said, in most cases, it's, uh, to the, to the right. And, uh, I did get lucky with that magic bottle, but it was almost not worth it considering how many times I got hit. Uh, these dragon heads are a pain in the butt, along with the fulcrus. Uh, I... Ooh, that the, it, it loops so fast the music I believe uh, this room has the blue fulcrum uh, you take them down just like the red fulcrum but like I said they are much more of a threat than the red fulcrums now don't get me wrong the red fulcrums are too but the blue ones are more deadlier simply because it's faster and it makes sense because it is a blue variation. There is a possible chance that you can actually run from this fulcrum, but the problem is when you move the screen over to the right as you you know travel uh, more to the right, there's going to be a like a little tower thing of building blocks like how we just dealt with on the left, and these fulcrums will come after you. They will not. They're they're out for your blood. So, I mean, it's totally possible to get away from them and get them lost within the um, blocks right there. But do be mindful that if you try to avoid him, he's going to chase after you. And, he, and those things are pretty adamant. And especially the blue ones, by them being so fast, it's really easy for them to catch up to you. So please do be mindful of that if you decide to, um, decide to run away from that fulcrum instead of fighting it. Uh, I had to make sure I was on the right track again with the uh, guide and everything. That's a new enemy. I think if you, it's either one time or a few times, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but that massive bubble will split off into two bubbles. Uh, I don't deal with it, honestly, because I feel it's no point. And I do believe, yeah, I do die right here. Um, I got two lives. Still, I'm not worried. I Like I said, I do manage to get the extra link dial. Um, and this sucks because the, the this particular folker I was close to killing. But I don't know what happened. But it off-screened itself. So, <laughs> but when it off-screened itself, there's actually another massive bubble. See how it off-screened itself and it, he just went away. Well, this bubble had came around. So to avoid that, I went over to the left and I was like, oh crap, the folker. But you see how this folker is chasing after me? It's best to kill those things because well, you you may not get as lucky. I think I took one or two hits uh, in that area. And if you go over to the left, I believe there is a red potion here. So that's why I wasn't too concerned about it. Plus I had, you know, a nice amount of magic and health. So this is pretty much gonna put me at full between the two. Uh, well, darn near for the life. Uh, but there is a fairy. Uh, I thought the link doll was in this section, but it's actually in the next section. Uh, that's the reason why I went more to the left. But if you head on down, to the left is going to be a fairy. Of course, get the fairy if you need to do so. But be careful because we have these breakable blocks down here. And you don't want to down downward thrust too far down in, into the lava. So take your time on that. Uh, speaking of take your time, this is this area right here is just standard jumps, but there's a few bots uh, along this path. So be careful, let the bots jump, uh, jump into the lava and let them do it for you. Here's our extra link doll. I do recommend getting it. A is not hard to get to and B is there. So you never know, you might need it. Especially if you find yourself getting close to the boss and you don't have the necessary uh, magic uh, to defeat the boss because it requires us to use the thunder spell and the thunder spell is worth 64 points. You go down this elevator and you go to the right. I lied, you go to the left. <laughs> I think this was one of those moments where it's like, okay, I, I was like, at some point I have to go to left and I don't remember what point I'm supposed to go left. And this is the point. Now down here in between this, in, in between this blocks and this gap, right along here, you fall down 
and you're supposed to do that. Now, I he's, I got this place confused with another uh, area that's very similar to this. It's like a screen before the second to last boss. Um, there's a, either a red potion or a red fulcra hidden within those blocks. And for some reason, I thought those were the blocks. And I completely forgot about that blob. If you hit that blob, it'll, it'll like turn into like five uh, smaller blobs. Let the bridge disintegrate and fall down the hole right here. And over to the left is where the red fulcra slash potion would be at. And you definitely want to get that for Thunderbird, uh, which is the second to last uh, boss. Uh, I didn't really necessarily need it for magic, but I thought it would be good for my health because, well, my health was pretty beat up. So, I don't know if it, I think jump is recommended, but, but for sure thunder is. And shield, my god, you're going to need that. So between jump, thunder, and shield, you're going to need all those spells. Don't cast thunder until Thunderbird is on the screen. Thunderbird is invincible until you cast the thunder spell. Once Thunderbird show up on the screen, uh, it's going to be red. But once you cast the thunder spell, it will be turn into blue. Now, because you pretty much use thunder, which is 64 points, even with even without using shield or jump, uh, which honestly I think you need jump because the only weakness Thunderbird has is his head. You can and you can't upward thr thrust it. You actually have to hit it from the side. Um, you don't have you don't have enough magic to cast um, life. So do be mindful of that. Um, and we have one more boss to face uh, because the Triforce guy won't let us get it until. Uh, we prove our courage because that is the Triforce of Courage right there. And this character is very popular. It's Dark Link! And he's a pain in the ass. So I knew I was going to lose. I was like, screw it. I'm going to go mano y mano. If you defeat Dark Link mano y mano, then you are a god or a goddess and I love you for it. Me, I'm not doing that. I am doing the very popular strat that everyone knows you go to the far left or the far right of the screen you duck and you slashy slashy your little sword until he goes away that's the best way to do it uh <laughs> you can defeat dark link uh legitimately you can do it it, it takes patience um if you're gonna do that, I don't recommend jumping. Uh, pretty much every time you jump, Dark Link is pretty much gonna hit you. And every time Dark Link jump, you want to hit him. That's like your best chance of hitting him in the kneecaps. Uh, you can't downward thrust this guy. You can't, you can't upward thrust this guy. Uh, that just doesn't work. It's just a matter of luck and patience and, and skill as well. Because like the only way I've seen people be able to defeat Dark Link mano y mano is when he jumps over you. And then in that small window of chance, you have to hurry up and slash his knees as he like right before he lands. You have to be pretty much uh, pixel perfect. And I'm not skilled. Um, talk about me all you want to. I don't care. <laughs> um, so uh, that's it. That is Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Uh, I am so excited. I'm proud of myself that I finally was able to complete this game. Um, practicing it as I was LPing it, putting it on a deadline because it's 9.50 Tuesday morning, June 1st. And you guys would be seeing this at 1 o'clock. So I've definitely been getting closer and closer to the deadline, video deadline to get these uh, Zelda 2 videos up. But I'm very glad that I was able to stick to the schedule and get it up for you guys. And I'm just happy that I was able to beat this game because this is one of the hardest Zelda games in the series. I'm not going to say it's the hardest because I don't know. I haven't played them all, but yeah. Uh, so that's going to be it for this Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as far as the next Let's Play goes, uh, Johnny, if you're watching, I know you want me to say to the link A Link to the Past. Uh, honestly, I don't know. It's between A Link to the Past and Link's Awakening. Um, 
the Nintendo Switch version. Uh, it's between those two games. I'm not comfortable in saying which Zelda game I would do next because honestly, at this point, I don't know. If I do a Link to the Past, it'll definitely be 100%. If it's Link's Awakening, I don't know if I'll do 100% simply because how the way the Switch version is made. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and in another Let's Play or another Le Zelda Let's Play, I hope you guys will continue to stick around for the channel. So if you'd like to see more Let's Plays or weekend walkthroughs from the channel, please be sure to click on the links in the description below. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome day.